About two years ago, there was a collaboration between a number of institutions. We started discussing the possibility of having exhibits sort of at the same time on the Civil War, since this was going to be the 150th anniversary of the beginning of the Civil War. And so Canton Museum of Art, Western Reserve Historical Society, and Kent State University Museum were all planning to have exhibits at the same time. So really the idea of the exhibit is to show what the experience was for, for women and children during the Civil War. In the early 19th century, clothing was generally custom made for the person, and so men would go to tailors or women would have a dressmaker make their clothes if they didn't make them themselves at home. And during the Civil War, one of the major innovations at the time was ready-to-wear clothing. The government had to provide uniforms for the soldiers and so they had to come up with a system for having sizing for men. The innovations that were developed for uniforms were more widely applied for menswear in general. So increasingly men could go to a store and buy a shirt or a suit that was already made. But for women, it wasn't as practical to, to supply ready-to-wear clothing because the complexity of the clothing and the specific fit of them was very difficult to do without custom fitting them to the body. Well, there's obviously there's a lot of interest in the Civil War. It's one of the most interesting periods in American history. But while there's a lot that's on the war and the battles, et cetera, there's a lot of interest in, in the clothing of the period to see the materials that they were made with, the particular prints and the weights of the fabric and the seams of them. And so it really is an amazing collection of things that we're able to show. And one of the responses that I hear a lot when people see the show is that the pieces are in amazing condition. And it is true that the pieces that we have shown are rather remarkable for their preservation. Mm -hmm.